Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Pretty Care Cordless Vacuum lineup. This brand seems to have come out of nowhere in the past few months, but has consistently been at the top of the best seller charts ever since. I bought three of their most popular models and put them through all kinds of tests this week to compare them with one another as well as with other cordless vacuum brands. So links in the description and let's get started. First, the basics. I have the W100, W200, and W300 models. The W100 and 200 are pretty close to the same price, with the 300 being only a little more expensive. All three models have a lot in common. For example, they all have the exact same floor head design, but with different colors. They have the same retractable wand. They have the same basic bin design, which empties from the bottom with a capacity of 1.2 liters. They all have a bright bank of LED lights on the floor head, a feature that is more useful than you might think. They all have the same size battery and same stated battery life on low power at about 35 minutes, which is pretty good. They claim to be able to run about 20 minutes on max power, but I found it was more like 17 minutes in our tests, but that's still quite a bit higher than average. So battery life shouldn't be an issue with any of these unless you have a really big house. In general, I would say that all three were well built, certainly better than I would have expected for the price. One of the main differences between them is that only the W300 has an LED display on the back that shows its remaining battery life and some alerts and things as well. And while I do like that feature a lot, it should be noted that it goes down by a full 5% every time instead of just by 1%. So it's not as accurate as with more expensive models, but it's still better than not having it. The manufacturer says that all three have the same motor and suction power on max power, but we found slight differences in our tests for example, the cheapest one, the W100, was the most powerful in terms of airflow and unsealed suction at the head, while the most expensive one, the W300, was the least powerful with those metrics, though it did have the edge in sealed suction at the base, but not by much. These power differences weren't too significant, but they were all what I would consider a little below average compared to other cordless vacuums I've tested, which is to be expected with vacuums in this ultra-cheap price range. The question is, does it affect their performance? And in terms of their basic job of picking stuff up off of hard floors and carpet, I would say that they were fairly impressive. For example, they were really good with large debris with their bigger than average front gates while still maintaining a decent seal for fine debris like coffee or even heavy fine debris like sand. I don't think people will be disappointed at all in terms of their basic vacuuming ability. That being said, none of them were able to pick up extra large debris like Fruit Loops. Or they could pick it up, but it wouldn't stay picked up. This is because the intake hole on the handle wasn't big enough. It's not a big deal, even some Dysons have this same problem, but it is worth mentioning. With the carpet deep clean test, where we try to determine how good they are at getting deep down embedded sand in medium pile carpets, they were all below average. In other words, while they did as good or better than most cordless vacuums with picking stuff up on the surface of carpets, they were all a little below average at cleaning below the surface of carpets. They all did about the same with the hair tangle test which is to say they got a little bit tangled in their brushes, mostly in and around the axles of the brush, but nothing major. And I really appreciated the ejectable brush roller, which makes regular maintenance like this much easier than with other models. Though their handles are very similar looking, there were some slight differences in the way that they felt. They're all super light, which is what you want with a cordless stick vacuum, and they are well balanced for things like above floor cleaning. But I like the cheapest one, the W100, in terms of the way that it felt in my hand. It just seemed to have a little bit better balance or center of gravity than the others did. They all came with the same attachment set, a crevice tool and a combo tool. The combo tool attachment was my favorite. It's modeled after the Dyson version. It has longer bristles, which makes it good for dusting. I liked that the W100 and W300 had ejectable batteries in case you needed to replace them or buy extras, something that the middle version, the W200, does not have. One area that they all struggled with is with filtration. This was not surprising since literally every cordless vacuum in this price range does the same thing. So after testing these all week, my conclusion is that first, Pretty Care cordless vacuums are well-built, well-rounded vacuums for the price, and I can see why they are selling so well. I do think they are best suited for people with 50% or more hard floors, but they're good carpet cleaners too. The W100, the cheapest version, is my favorite though. It has more power and a better handle feel than the others. I like the LED display on the W300, but it's lower airflow and usable suction at the head make it less desirable than the W100 in my opinion. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.